Hey guys, uh, today we are at Performance Electronics and David here, who is the engineer that has been helping us with the design and testing and tuning of their ECU kit for the O7K, is gonna go through and explain all the componentry that comes with the kit. And then we're gonna go through what connections need to be made on the car. So basically this is going to be an instruction video for those of you guys that have ordered the kit. We should be able to give you all the information you need in this video to get everything installed and to get the car fired up for the first time. So it comes with the kit is the plug and play harness, the ECU itself. This is the cable that connects to the harness and then to the ethernet port on a laptop comes with the wideband module, the wideband sensor with a stainless steel bung, and it comes with an intake air temp sensor. So the harness is constructed from all new TXL wire. All the connectors on here are OEM or direct OEM replacement connectors. There's no off-brand or Chinesium connectors in the harness. It's loomed in a TechFlex and then everything's heat shrunk on the end. Uh, we went with the clubs, what we would call a club sport harness um, because it's the same method OEMs use as far as you know using TXL wire. You know, not everything needs to be completely heat shrunk and potted uh, like the uh, mil spec harnesses are. Uh, that's just to keep the cost down and um, it works for hundreds of thousands of miles. In an OEM application, I'm sure if you install this, it's going to work for a very long time in your vehicle. So we're going to start on the ECU end and uh, the harness is kind of cut in the middle. As you can see here, this is the grommet that will go through your firewall. This harness was designed so that the ECU and relay module all fit in the factory uh, location in the passenger footwell of the 944 or you know, under the dash or somewhere inside the passenger compartment of another vehicle for a universal application. Starting here, these are the two connectors that your ECU will plug into. You just slide it in until you hear a click. This is the power distribution module. So if you squeeze these two tabs on the side and pull off, there are three relays and three fuses. Therefore, your main fuse and relay, your enable fuse and relay, which is power that is controlled by the ECU that goes to uh, primarily the ignition coils and the wideband O2 module. The third relay is for the fuel pump. Here is um, some different componentry that is needed for the harness that we encased in potting. So you should never have to do anything with this connector, just tie it off to the side, secure it down to your vehicle. The bottom of the power distribution module has um, two holes in it, so you can secure that to the vehicle. So the first connector coming off of the smaller ECU connector is the communications cable. So you're gonna take the red cable, it's a Deutsch DTM, and you're just gonna plug it into there. And this is how you will communicate to the ECU via Ethernet. Other connectors down here include a spare connector. Um, this has ground, sensor ground, 12 volt, and sensor 5 volt in it. This is so if you want to add any extra sensors or actuators to the ECU, because there are a lot of spare ins and outs that come with this kit in the ECU itself, uh, you'll have a place to get power ground and that kind of thing from the harness without having to cut into the harness. So you would just simply remove this connector. Your kit should come with some pins that you can add into there and uh, the connector is already on the harness. You just pull out these red plugs. The three pin connector coming out near the ECU is for your wideband O2 module. Your module will come with the correct three pin DTM connector already installed. So all you will have to do is plug in the DTM and the sensor plugs into the sensor connector near the ECU. The small white connector is called the JST connector and it is used for the CAN. So if you're running the PE dash or if you're running another aftermarket dash or logger and you want to send information via CAN from the ECU to something else, you're just going to simply plug this in and the dash will have power, ground, and can 
So this is the main power wire. It has a quarter inch ring terminal on it and it should go directly to the battery or in the 944 application. It connects to a lug on the bottom of the factory fuse block which is on the driver side of the 944 and you can access it from the top or the bottom. It's easiest to just unbolt that fuse block, take the cover off, unbolt it, and then you can pick it up and there's a, a lug down there that you can attach to for your 12 volt power. The final connector near the ECU is a two pin DTM connector that has TAC output from the ECU, which is just a pulsed output uh, related to RPM. You can program that in the ECU to fit your dash and also a vehicle speed sensor input. The factory 944 TAC connection is in the passenger footwell. So moving to the engine side of the harness, uh, the first connector you'll see, we're just going to work left to right in the harness, is the electronic boost control solenoid. One of these pins connects to the ECU um, pulse with modulated output for boost control and the other one is 12 volts. You can connect this directly to your Mac 3 or 4 port solenoid. So this is the main ground. This needs to go to a solid ground source on the engine away from heat. This is the O2 sensor connector. It's just an extension through the firewall so that it's easier for the end user to install uh, the wideband O2. So all you'll do is you'll plug the sensor into this connector and install that in your exhaust. This is the fuel pressure sensor connector. Uh, you can buy a fuel pressure sensor and plug it directly into this kit. This goes as an analog input into the ECU. What that allows you to do is log your fuel pressure rather than just looking at a gauge um, to find maybe if your car is starving fuel in a you know a high speed corner. You may not catch that on a gauge but you'll be able to look at your data and make sure that uh, your fuel pressure is consistent. You can also set up alarms and other protection strategies either in the ECU or in an aftermarket dash that you may be using and transmitting this data via CAN to that dash or data logger. Next we have the engine coolant temp sensor. The label on this is ECT. This goes to the factory 07K coolant temp sensor. This goes to the rear coolant flange on the back of the engine. Next we have our five ignition coil connectors. Um, they're labeled IGN, one, two, three, four, and five. One being farthest from the timing cover on the 07K. It is suggested that you add a heat shield uh, to protect these wires if you have a turbo application and these wires are near your manifold. So moving down the harness, we get to the only thing in this harness that just has wires coming out of it. It's flying lead for fuel pump. This is a 14 gauge wire that can go to the fuel pump, which is a solder pin on the 944 chassis harness connector or just to a fuel pump for a universal application. The pink wire is switched power, so if you give this wire 12 volts from an ignition switch in your vehicle, this is what actually turns the main relay on to the ECU and to provide power to the rest of the harness. For the 944, we'll install the solder pins before we ship them out. Next we have a branch that goes to the injectors. This will go on top of your intake manifold and includes the VVT solenoid, injectors 5 through 1, one being at furthest away from your timing chain cover, and your cam angle sensor labeled cam in the harness. The other branch goes under the intake manifold and includes your oil pressure sensor, which like the fuel pressure sensor is a zero to five volt input to the ECU, which you can use for logging and protection strategies. Your crank position sensor, which will go almost to the bottom of the vehicle and two wires that go to your alternator. The final and longest leg will go to your throttle body. This includes the throttle body connector labeled TB your intake air temp sensor, which has the standard GM connector on it, and plugs directly into the intake air temp sensor that's installed or included in the kit. The final connector is the MAP sensor connector, which goes directly to the MAP sensor also included in your kit. There'll be two different MAP sensors, one for a naturally aspirated and one for a forced induction application. To tie in your main 12 volt, you're gonna unscrew these two knobs and pull up 
your power distribution module and under there you will install the main power. Before you unscrew these two terminals and start moving around your fuse box, make sure the main battery is unhooked. So your main ground from the ECU is connected here on the 944 to the head, but on your application it can be elsewhere. The smaller gauge wire in your harness will go to pin 3 in the 944. For the NA application, set your base fuel pressure with the car not running to 75 PSI if you're using the stock 07K injectors. If you're a boosted application, please contact Boost Brothers Garage or PE uh, with your injector information and we will make the correct adjustments to your tune file. We'll be making a series of follow-up videos explaining how to use the software, how to hook up your laptop to the car and make some tuning changes depending on modifications that you've done to the engine.